and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video and we're doing another Junior Eurovision reaction. Poland decided, the defending double champ uh, decided on their acts and it is Alicia Trax, Alicia Trash. I don't know how to pronounce the surname, but it's Alicia, let's call her that, with I'll be standing. It already has quite a lot of views, I see, um, which is interesting, um, but yeah. We will be reacting to the song. They already won twice before this. I'm not sure if they changed the system with like the telephone points because that's a bit. I hope they would. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious. Sons and the success has been a massive success for Junior so far for Poland. So who knows? Um, is there more to say? Oh, yeah, I'm a bit still under the weather. I've told it in the Kazakhstan episode, filming them all in the same day, by the way. Um, just feel like it. they'll be edited in different days. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm a bit still under the weather, so my voice may be a bit different. I may have a cough here and there. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we just jump into it. L let's hear what they're bringing this year. I'm really curious. Yes. Alicia Trax. Trash. Alicia. With I'll be standing. Um, can't wait to hear what it's like. Let's click play. And like, the thing is, the previous two times, in the Sounds and the Success, it didn't sound as amazing as the final product, so... It could definitely still improve as well. Sure, it has a good feeling for a camera. That's why, um... In Germany, I preferred the uh, other girl of the season, because she also really knew how to play the camera, so that's really important. That's not about Germany. It's a bit insecure in English. Makes sense. Damn, she has a big voice. That's great. Seems to be like the Balladier, I guess. <laughs> That's some weird face mask, anyway. Ooh. I like his horns. Trumpets? Maybe? I think they're small trumpets, so not really. Yeah, oh, I like that really. There hasn't been much Polish in this so far. I think it's all been English, really. Or uh, I've noticed something wrong in. Oh no. There we are, Polish. I really like what's going on sonically. Like, this is what I mean. A, a ballad is perfectly fine. A ballad is, is amazing. But make it amazing sonically. Make interesting stuff happen. Make layers. Add instruments that make it more interesting. Just than your bass skeleton. It's great. Especially those horns, like... It's such a detail that, like... If it didn't add it, it would be such a different piece of music. But because they added it, it enhances it a lot. Of course it can also feel flat, or like fall flat. Not with this, this is great. The horns really add. Yeah, another great entry from Poland. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nailing Junior. Holy, 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 holy. Yeah, I didn't necessarily have the most thoughts immediately after the song. Um, let's do it again, and yeah. Poland really knows how to do Junior Eurovision. I'm not sure if this is like winning material, but uh, yeah. It's really good again. Um, you know, there are only 13 songs, so like one thirteenth chance if you just send something random. Not bad odds in my eyes. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really good. I think it's a nice ballad, and like the structure is is very semi, very easy, and 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 used a lot. But what they did with it is really good. Like they added some some low key electrical guitars that will um, enhance the entire piece, that will make it feel a bit more rich. And they added the horns like that. It, it's such a nice little detail that just some countries forget to add sometimes, and Poland definitely added them, and it makes the entire piece feel better. And just on that alone, it will be above a lot of other songs. And yeah, they have an amazing song again. Um, I will say the previous two attempts, I think, are better. But I mean, 
last year's you cannot top that like last year it was literally just a perfect song it just needed to be delivered live uh, in my eyes um yeah i give that a 10 out of 10 with reviews because it just sounded like something that could chart that could chart in the, in the pop radio and as a child sending something like that is is just stellar like you cannot do better than that and it won in the end and, and it deserved to win even though it's back to back like people dislike that and maybe discredit Vicky for that but I think you know it, it's fully deserved it Vicky Galbraith had an amazing song um, this song may be a little bit less stellar and less radio I don't know but yeah it's still an amazing piece uh, Poland really figured out Sons on a success and I hope they can really pull that line together for um Adult Eurovision. I, I really do hope so because they're proving it every single year so far since they use this format that it's going to work for Junior. And I'm really curious to see the staging for this and I'm really curious to see how they will do. I don't think they'll do bad at all. Good job. Good, good, good job. Yes. Anyways, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked seeing my face again. I hope you <laughs> agreed with me. And if you didn't, also tell me in the comments, I want to know what you guys think of these songs. Uh, I think they're great so far. I think we're going to in another amazing Junior Eurovision song. It's been a bit bad so far, but who cares? They, they, what they are doing. Like, if I look back at myself back in those days, I definitely was not as talented as they are. And I know that not a lot of the songs are written by the kids either, like they were back in the day in the Netherlands. But, oh my god, they are so talented. And all the credit, they deserve it all. Um, yeah. That's it for it today. Um, I hope you liked, then like the video. If you liked it a lot, also subscribe. Share with as many people as possible. I hit myself with this thing in my face. Um, I think that's a good sign to say goodbye and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.